since that fatal confrontation between Officer Thompson and them. As a result, the police department has made numerous changes involving officer training and investigations. KXLY 4's Colleen O'Brien is live at the Public Safety Building tonight with some of those changes. And the key here is that they didn't wait six years to put these uh, new training regimens into place. They put them into place throughout the years leading up to the conviction of Officer Carl Thompson. Changes have been made. The department has changed significantly since the days when, or the day, the tragic day when this incident occurred. One change, according to Mayor Mary Verner, involves specialized training. She says Chief of Police Ann Kirkpatrick trains her officers now to identify when a suspect might be mentally ill, like Zem, or just simply uncooperative. She has been very committed to making improvements in policies, training, and protocol at the police department, and I certainly have supported her in doing that. The change came after the medical examiner ruled Zem was in a state of excited delirium at the time of his death. It causes anxiety, hallucinations, and can make a person violent. Things have changed, and in my view, they have changed for the better. We are a more accountable police department. Accountability came in the form of a new way to investigate crimes involving officers. At the time of Thompson's fatal confrontation with Zem, his fellow officers interviewed him. Now, a separate agency like the state patrol or sheriff's office would handle the case to prevent any whitewashing or favoritism. Changes the Zem family has asked for, but their attorney says is still not enough. We continue to call to the city and the department to repudiate any kind of policy that would result in this type of death. And when they do so, this community can heal. None of these changes will ever undo that day five and a half years ago. And the tragedy that occurred um, certainly is something that uh, will live on in our memories for a long, long time. The Zem family does plan to go on with a civil suit they have against the city. The mayor has directed the city's attorney to resolve that before it goes to trial, but the Zem family has not indicated how much money it would take to settle that case. Reporting live in Spokane, Colleen O'Brien, KXLY4 HD News.